Welcome everyone to Mr. Adobe where you get prime educative videos on Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Without further ado, Mr. Adobe will be guiding you through today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to another cool and easy to follow tutorial on Adobe Photoshop. In this tutorial, I'll show you some simple techniques to create the neon text effect. It will make your project more vibrant. So guys, let's get started. First things first, import the footage that you need in your project. For instance, I have imported my brick wall that I downloaded from the internet. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Select hue or saturation. Then click to clip the layer below. Reduce the saturation and lightness so that your background looks darker. When it's done, close it. We must make sure that the foreground color is black and the background color is white. Next, go to the bottom and create a new layer. Hold Ctrl plus Shift plus N for shortcut. Rename the layer as per your wish, for instance I'm renaming it Clouds. Then go to Filter, Render and click on Clouds and change the blending mode of Clouds to Divide. After that, select the Type tool. Select the font style and size as per your requirement and set the method to Smooth. Type in the text that you require. Here I'm using the word Neon. Now set the text color. I'm using the red color with the hex code FF1200. Then click OK. Once you're done, position it to the center by using the Move tool. Duplicate the text layer. Hold Ctrl plus J. Then right click on the bottom text layer and select Convert to Smart Object. After that, go to Filter, Blur and select Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to about 11 to 20 pixels and hit OK. Then select the top layer. Go down to Effects at the bottom and select Blending Options. A Layer Style dialog box will appear. From it, click on Drop Shadow. Bring down the opacity to 50% and increase the size to about 16 pixels. And make sure the Blend Mode is set to Multiply. Next, click on Inner Glow. Select the Color Picker and change the color to White. Then click OK. Now change the source to center. Bring up the size to about 8 to 12 pixels. And click on the inner shadow. Also bring the opacity level down to about 40% to 30%. Then click on bevel and emboss. And increase the depth to about 185%. Set the direction to up. Increase the size to about 1 to 6 pixels. And set the softness to 16 pixels. Then hit OK. After that, select the clouds layer and add a layer mask. Next, select the brush tool. Select the brush with soft edges and delete the unnecessary clouds from the background. Next, create a new layer and rename it Glow More. Change the foreground color by clicking on it. Set the color code to FF1200 and hit OK. After that, select the brush tool and choose the brush with soft edges. Then add the red glow around the text like shown on your screen. Change the blending mode to soft light. And decrease the opacity level as per your wish. It's looking cool. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and let me know if you thought it was helpful in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe us for more interesting tutorials on Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Till then, stay original, stay creative and have a good time.